Around this time last week, I was a bundle of nervous energy. I was optimistic that Trump would be voted out of office because I generally believe that things balance out and that love wins and that humanity has the capacity for abundant compassion. I was also terrified because I wasn't sure if the U.S. had finished its dangerous dance with despotism, and I know mankind also has the capacity for abundant evil. So I grabbed my F2 and went for a walk. I've mentioned this in previous videos, but over the last few years I've increasingly turned to photography as a form of therapy. In those moments when anxiety, depression, hopelessness, and mind-consuming despair rear their hideous heads, it's nice to have something not so self-destructive to involve myself in. Of course I do plenty of shooting and positive mindsets as well, but when I'm feeling these things, photography is an incredibly grounding exercise. Photography allows my mind to take a break from itself. I almost never have a route planned when I go out, and rather I'll just park somewhere and let my feet and my eyes work together to get me from where I am to where I'm going. As these photos have been going by, you might be thinking, what makes these special? Why are these the ones he chose to show? And for me, that's kind of the point. They aren't special pieces of esoteric art attainable only through meticulous planning and dedication to craft. They're normal, bereft of contrived meaning, essentially worthless to the average viewer, and yet I enjoy them. They're a record of where I was and what I saw, a visual diary of what my day was like and what I found interesting for whatever reason. A dog tugging on its leash. A face in a window. A shadow cutting across a church's door. On this particular day, it was November 3rd, election day in the United States. No matter how it turned out, I wanted documentation of that day. It could mark the continuation of the darkest times I've lived through, or it could mark a day when hope is rekindled. Life was either going to get worse, or we could start the process of healing and begin to lay some groundwork to push for a better present and future. This all might sound a bit dramatic, especially to anyone viewing outside of the United States, but I genuinely believe that this was the most important election for generations and that a lot was at stake. So I just wanted a personal record of where I was and what my city looked like at this pivotal moment. I could feel myself slipping into some sort of mania. And as tempting as it can be in those situations to alter my brain chemistry with alcohol or some other substance, I prefer to reserve that for happier times. Maybe I've got a masochistic streak, but when things are awful, I'd rather face it with a clear mind. So, in that sense, because it helps me meander through the muck of madness onto the lucid shores of clarity, photography is therapy.